If you are a Lord of the Rings fan and want to talk about scenes within each film that mean a lot to you, let me know. In the extended edition reviews, I will be showcasing you and the love you have for these movies. You can talk about the extended scenes or regular theatrical editions. For further details, DM me on Twitter. The link to Twitter is in the description box. Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Peter Jackson's career, we will be talking about Heavenly Creatures. Heavenly Creatures is about two teenage girls, Pauline Walker and Juliet Hume, who form a very intense relationship over the time of 1952 to 1954, which ultimately leads to the murder of Parker's mother. The film focuses on their friendship and how close they got within that time. This is the fourth feature-length film in Peter Jackson's filmography and his first non-Splatterfest. This is a more focused film, dramatizing the events between these two friends during the time periods aforementioned. And man, did, D <laughs> did Peter go all out in dramatizing the events. Fantasy elements are placed within the story that help us as the viewer understand the psyche of these girls and the become involved in their world. For someone like myself who took a quick glance at the plot of the film and watched it unfold, I realized at its core, this is a friendship movie. And that it is the strongest thing in this movie. Kate Winslet and Melanie Linsky are exceptional in this film and convey their friendship extremely well. As you can get wrapped up in their intense friendship, you can see the fantasy aspect conveyed through this brilliant work of Peter's imagination all the same. This is another strength of the film. The two girls create a fantasy world together and share it when the reality of the real world becomes too hostile for them. The cinematography to convey these said worlds not only is beautiful, but work within the tone of the film. By the time everything goes horribly wrong, all the pieces are in place that tell the story effectively. This helps you understand why these girls were pushed to do an unspeakable action. You don't necessarily sympathize with them, but you understand quite well thanks to the impeccable storytelling, excellent visuals, and the brisk pace. This is something I think should also be mentioned is the adult counterparts. They do a really fine job playing their roles straight. Meaning, if one of the mothers is placed within the position of being a concerned mother, there's no dancing around that to make her a villain. When one of the mothers sees fit to leave her other child for a few months, it's played with enough circumstance that this is supposed to be seen as a questionable and self-absorbed action. Not beats to create a villain on either end, but a probable cause as triggers for the girls to become closer, share their world, and even warp their realities in violent ways. In the end, this is a deep psychological film that I feel treats the relationship with respect, has fun with it, allowing you to get absorbed into the world, understand why the girls were driven to do what they did, and sympathize only enough. It's focused in all the right areas, beautifully shot, and I'll say this film will stick with you long after you've finished watching it. For that, I loved Heavenly Creatures and would recommend watching it. Sadly, though, for me, I would not own. All right, thank you all so much for watching, and if you've seen Heavenly Creatures, let me know in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I all hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.